Welcome folks, um, this is the test of Amy's ability to, well, monitor the flight of that rocket. Anyhow, here we go, uh, let's start the monitoring process. You have not left yet. Would you like me to push the rocket? See, she already learned to be a little bit sassy, but not sassy enough, and uh, well, yes. Anyways, we will start with the obligatory Amy start the countdown countdown initiated 10 seconds until launch 9 8 7 6 5 SAS active 3 2 1 eight. all right and from here out it might be a little bit too noisy but I hope that we will hear her good enough and as I said, this is the test. Amy is now linked to the um, telemetric data feed of the rocket. Currently, she's not calling out every once in a while, but past 2,500 meters, she's calling out at certain altitudes and at certain stages. Um, this is a very, very, past very 5, meters. early design, and there's much to be improved. Past 7,500 meters. Right, so let's go... Past 10 kilometers. Current apopsis is 17 kilometers. Apopsis? I don't know how she... I don't like how she says apopsis, but... It's really Past hard 15 kilometers. to swing Ready her... For transition into upper atmosphere. Around. Now we got the upper atmosphere and the lower atmosphere Past data from the vessel. The vessel is now traveling within the upper atmosphere. So even though we reached already, we pa went past the the first border. Now we have passed into the upper atmosphere at around 18 kilometers, according to the internet. I don't know how much you can trust the internet, but that's what the internet said. Past 25 kilometers. Current apopsis is 32 kilometers. So, I think we're just gonna keep her on track there, for now, keep her running. Um, I thought from here out, I just reduce whenever she talks to me, but I might have to add another kind of like uh, process where she like still count counts out every five kilometers. Well, actually she doesn't, but what is changing is the apoapsis. This one is rising and I wouldn't mind knowing about what my apoapsis is at that state. Oh well. At least it's looking good. Rocket is still flying. Nothing has exploded yet. <clears throat> there should be no explosions. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, see, checking the apoapsis myself is not really stuff I wanted to do, so I might have to have her like kind of count out the apoapsis. Past 50 kilometers. The vessel will leave the upper atmosphere at 69 kilometers altitude. And at this point, when we reach 60, let me just stay at probe rate. Once we are at 60, well, we're almost at 100 kilometers for the apoapsis there. Aren't we? Past 65 kilometers. Crew is ready for space. Current apopsis is 85 kilometers. Past 69 kilometers. No more atmosphere detected. Let's go for 100. Right, so we have passed 75 kilometers. Please get ready for orbital insertion. Current apopsis is 101 kilometers. Which we will do. I'll try to get a nice orbital. So I'm not sure if I really managed to hit that. Oh, it's not. It's not too bad. It's almost circular. So now let's go target the maneuver node. 
which we should have enough fuel to go for. Just gonna go skip our head. From here out, she will only call out. Kind of like when we are safe enough. Once the periapsis comes up, that's when she should call out. You know, like ah, periapsis is over 70 kilometers, so um, that's the first call out, and the next call out should be when we reach a circularized orbit. Current altitude is 101.019 kilometers. You are in orbit. It is not circular yet. And it will not be circular yet. So we'll still have to... She's going to be very, very picky about that. 103. And 304. There we go. So let's go around and make it a circular orbit. Even so, well, I mean, currently 100 and, you know, that's... 8 kilometers apart, it is not circularized enough for her because she's very very picky with that. It's between 5% uh, plus minus I think. I have to check how picky I made her. Right, so here we go. Stabilizing physics, activating SAS, let's go for the maneuver node once again. I put a little bit more electricity aboard, otherwise this turning in darkness would really be ah not preferable. Right. That's going to be a stable circular orbit achieved. Welcome to space. Well, and this concludes the test of Amy um, kind of being the ground control and calling out at certain stages much, much more improvement. And if you have any ideas what she should be controlling, uh, monitoring, when she should call out what exactly, I'd be more than happy to do it though. Um, I'm meaning to put in like a um, fuel check to see if we have enough fuel, if at a certain stage the apoapsis or the periapsis is high enough. It's like kind of like, well, you're on suborbital trajectory, well, get ready to land, whatever. I mean, there is a lot of stuff planned. I'm not sure when and how I'll be implementing it, but it's going to be very interesting now that Amy has access to the telemetric data. Well, thanks for watching. See you on the live streams.